Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here is uh, Van Amsen with another like coding session and today we got something really uh, special for you, finding the medium of two sorted arrays, but in Rust. And you hear this right, we are diving into Rust for a crisp, fast and safe solution to classic problem. So before we unleash the power of Rust, let's get grip on the problem statement. We have two sorted uh, arrays, so uh, yeah, num1 and num2. And our task is to find the median of the merged array uh, while aiming for O log minimum between N and M. So uh, task is quite straightforward. So given uh, array, for example, one, two, and second, uh, three, four, after uh, the merge, yeah, so merging to we need to find a medium, so medium will be two plus three, so it's two and a half, uh, yeah, divided by two, in case of uh, even number of elements, and uh, middle element uh, if the number of elements is uh, odd. So quite straightforward, uh, but how to solve it efficiently? So before we dive into the code, let's understand the logic behind the solving this problem. So the key lies in the finding perfect partition between two arrays. And uh, those conditions are as follows. So all elements on the left are uh, smaller than all elements on the uh, right. And the number of elements on the left is either uh, equal uh, to or one less than those uh, on the uh, right. And to find this perfect partition, we will use a binary search, but uh, here is the catch. We are not using it to find uh, an element, but rather a perfect uh, partition uh, point uh, in our uh, array. So uh, we will partition num1 at partition x and num2 at partition uh, partition y, uh, in such way that max x and max y will be the greatest element on the left side uh, of the partition and minimum x and minimum y will be the smallest element on the right side. So uh, now let's dive into the coding. So we need to make sure that num1 uh, is the smallest array. So let's start implementation. So let mutable num1 and mutable num2. Uh, and if num1 len greater than num2 len, uh, num2, num1, and else it will be num1 and num2. So uh, why do we do this? By ensuring num1 is the smaller array, we make our algorithm faster as we perform binary search on the smaller array. So now uh, variables, so let mn num1 len, num2 len, and let mutable low mutable high 0m. So uh, what are these variables? So m and n are the length of num1 and num2, while low and high will be the boundaries of our uh, binary search. And now we uh, need to perform binary search uh, loop. So while low less than high, uh, let partition x low high divided by two and let partition y mn plus 1 divided by 2 partition x and let max x if partition x equal 0 minimum else will be num 1 partition x minus 1. So uh, 
what's uh, happening here. So we are entering the realm of binary research and we calculate partition X and partition Y to find the best partition. And then we need to calculate uh, max X, minimum X, max Y and minimum uh, Y. So uh, let's uh, code it. So let minimum X be if partition X equal M max else num1 partition and now uh, let max y if partition y 0 minimum else num2 partition y and let minimum y if partition y n so max else num2 partition y okay so now if max x less than minimum y and max minimum x so uh, what we are doing here we are calculating the maximum and minimum elements on each side of the partition in both array and this will be a crucial to uh, know where we found the right uh, partition. And last part is to validate and update uh, our code. So if max uh, x is less than minimum y and max x is uh, greater than max y, we uh, validate our partition points. And if they are valid, we calculate the median, otherwise we update our uh, boundaries. So if modulo two zero, then return return uh, max uh, of max y minimum s sixty four divided by two, and else uh, it will be return max x max y s f64 and else if our max y greater than max i will be partition x minus one and else low will be partition x plus one close everything and zero zero otherwise if uh, didn't find so uh, we tackled a complex problem broke it down let's uh, test it uh, to see if it's working for uh, these test cases so hopefully it will yep so all good now uh, that it's working let's uh, submit it to see if all go well so yeah and as you can see, uh, we uh, solve it, uh, yeah, correctly in Rust, beating 100% with respect to runtime and also 25% with respect to uh, memory. So this wasn't just about a finding median. Uh, this was a masterclass in algorithmic thinking. Uh, so quite a nice uh, problem, especially coding it in, in Rust. And as you can see, performance, uh, yeah, zero millisecond and 2.3 megabytes comparing to previous solution in Python, uh, 89 me mega, yeah, milliseconds and 60 megabytes. So yeah, Rust probably is uh, one of the fastest uh, programming language. So uh, also good to know uh, apart from Python and other programming languages. So uh, if you found this session uh, valuable, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more uh, tutorial uh, challenges, machine learning, uh, tech, and much more. And if you have any question or suggestion for uh, next episode, uh, please uh, write a comment uh, down below. And also I will provide implementation in other languages like uh, Python, C++, go in the description below. And yeah, keep practicing, stay motivated, and happy coding.